I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's <laughs> So, Mr. Oh! Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous <laughs> consent to enter into the record. Dong, the witch is dead. The witch is dead. The witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Okay, well, maybe she's not a witch, but her career is gone, baby. It is D E A D on arrival. <laughs> I knew this woman was going to be out, whether she was fired or resigned. She is out, okay, along with her DEI policies. Let's start this off. But listen, I'm going to read this article and then we're going to look at the brutal butt whooping that she got from Nancy Mace. Oh, my God. Call the fire department, baby, because she took a lot of burns doing this one. OK, let's get started here. Uh, Secret Service Director Kimberly Chattel resigns. Now, I was told that her last name is not pronounced Chattel, but I'm going to pronounce it that way today and forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And Secret Service Director Kimberly Chattel resigned on Tuesday, a day after a bruising congressional hearing where she was unable or unwilling to answer many key questions from lawmakers on the failure of the agency to prevent an assassination attempt of the former President Donald Trump. Quote, I, I take full responsibility for the security lapse. <laughs> she wrote in an email to the staff obtained by the Associated Press. In line of reaching events, it is with a heavy heart that I have made the difficult decision to step down as you direct. I did. We don't care. During the House Oversight Committee hearing on Monday, she admitted the nearly successful assassination attempt against Donald Trump at the July 13th Butler, Pennsylvania rally was the most significant op operational failure in the agency's history in decades. Oh, man, that's a bad thing to have on your record, girl. Despite this, she repeatedly refused to consider resigning. Yeah, she was stubborn. Even telling lawmakers that she believed she was the quote-unquote best person for the lead job at the time. At that time, she was unable to answer why Secret Service did not answer question the gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, after he was flagged as a suspicious person and the Secret Service was alerted. She was also unable to say why the Secret Service did not put anyone on the roof where Crooks fired at Trump from or how many agents were pr present at the rally or whether the gunman acted alone. Yeah, she didn't. She refused to act, answer that question. She kept saying, you're going to have to refer to the FBI. You're going to have to refer to the FBI. Imagine being part of the alphabet family, like the like the like the CIA and the Secret Service agent, and then talking about something. We got to refer to the FBI, girl, please. By the end of the three-hour hearing, the committee's chairman and top Democrat, in addition to the member of its members, both called for her resign after the hearing on Tuesday. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer or Coomer, a Republican out of Kentucky, said in a statement. Now, I'm not going to read this statement. Maybe I may come back or not. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. But I have to, I have to show you guys this epic takedown of this woman. Oh, whoa. This was so brutal. <laughs> this was so brutal. All right, let's watch it, okay? Stand. I do. Okay, my first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter, yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure yes is the no. question. Answer, yes girl. or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a yes or no series of questions. Get was her. this a colossal Get failure, her. yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable, yes or no? Yes. Has Good the doggy. Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been Yes to or no, you yes didn't want to answer no. the question. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. That means no. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. 
Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's <laughs> So, Mr. <laughs> Chairman, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to order. Okay. She is getting dragged! Oh, oh. <laughs> I love to see it! I love to see it! Oh my God! Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay, you say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? No. Yes or I no? I'll have to get back to you on that. Yes or <laughs> no? That is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That That's is a, a no. no. You're full of <laughs> today. Oh! You're just being completely dishonest. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Come on. We have to maintain decorum <laughs> in this committee. Any, no matter how have upset we get. Have you provided any of our memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you Slay provided her. all memorandums within Slay the Secret her, Service? Nice. I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here at this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly oh. to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Oh. These are not hard questions. This is so um, great. Have you provided us all communications? from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information oh. that this committee has asked of the Secret Service? Any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have That's you even no. read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay, and you have uh, said you don't know, you have no idea. Well, the answer is no. Yeah, we no. haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or Slay data her, from you or your agency Drag in related her. to the rally that we have asked you for. <clears throat> so, um, is this, was uh, this uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> Training, ex execution, or both, which one? I think those are answers. All right, how many, uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? Zero! At this time, none. <clears throat> How many Secret Service personnel have been required to take a refresher course on how not to let people shoot Donald Trump? Zero! Our personnel are currently operational. We are examining the facts of this investigation, and we will make the changes necessary. What time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to President Trump? I am still verifying timelines. Of course, uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between the time law enforcement saw and took photos of crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying timelines. 57 time minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. Oh, my God. That was so gratifying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was so good. Okay. Uh, do I really need to read this? I mean, I don't really, I don't think I need, I don't want to even make this video that long. I don't even think you guys care what the oversight committee said. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like whatever. So I'll just read what Trump said. Okay. Trump posted on Truth Social on Tuesday, which is today. He said the Biden slash Harris administration did not properly protect me. And I was forced to take a bullet for democracy. It was my great honor to do so, okay? So that's what Trump said. And uh, she's gone. And uh, 
Let's just see uh, if the uh, Biden administration, by the way, I know I don't know where Joe is. He's been missing for several days. But uh, when his clones show up, I'm sure they're going to replace her with a black woman. This is Tree from TreeOfLogic.com. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give me a like. Also, I love to hear what you got to say by leaving your comment below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Later, taters. Thank you.